As you can see behind me, this is the Blokrans Bridge here in Plettenberg Bay, and it is a spectacular scene for our spectacular challenge. Our challenge today is a double dare. It's a two-in-one. It goes something like this. Our man will be hovering in a helicopter 700 feet from the bottom of the gorge. And if you can quickly come and have a look at the bottom of the gorge, it is exceptionally far all the way down there. He'll be hovering in the helicopter. He will be connected to a rope that will be hanging underneath the bridge, connected on the other side of the bridge. He jumps out, goes into a huge pendulum swing that goes all the way underneath the bridge. When he reaches his optimum height at the other end, he cuts himself loose. But luckily he has a parachute. Opens up the parachute, we hope in time, to safely make it to the bottom. You've got to understand one thing. I was never afraid of heights until I took a walk along that bridge this morning. It was hair-raising. If you think that's bad, let's meet our crazy man. Pete, hi, how are the nerves? Uh, going a bit crazy. It's been a roller coaster ride all day. <laughs> um, some of the time feeling relaxed, sometimes it just feels wild. Okay, really wild. but this is a, a wild stunt, to say the least. How many jumps have you done? Um, I've done over 3,200 jumps, uh, okay. that's skydives that is, okay, and I have how? a bit of base jumping experience. Okay. What makes this base jump so much more dangerous? You see, with base jumping, it's very critical that you're in the right position when you leave your object. Okay. Um, with this, it's all that more difficult because you don't have a solid base to work off. You're mm. cutting away from a rope, mm -hmm. and if I'm not in the perfect position when I leave that rope, I'm in trouble. I can go tumbling, mm -hmm. there's no air to work with, I can go tumbling, and there's less chance of getting a parachute out cleanly or at all. Are you ready? I, I don't know so. who's more nervous, <laughs> you or me. Okay, let's go and do it. So as the sun beats down on the Blaukrantz Bridge, the traffic is stopped, and Pete Samuelson needs to keep a cool head if he's gonna win a place in the record books. This one isn't going to be easy. The ground support team double checks the ropes. Pete looks ready for the off and grabs onto the helicopter for the ride of his life. The challenge is just as nerve wracking for the pilot with a passenger on board attached to the bridge. One slight touch of the ropes against the tail rotor could spell disaster. It's crucial that the helicopter keeps stable in the wind. Pete's prepared long and hard for this. He has to cut free at exactly the right angle. Otherwise, it's impossible to open his chute before he hits the ground. And he lets go. He drops. And there he goes, but something's wrong. He's twisted round and obviously can't release. It looked to me as if he was facing the wrong way. He's left swinging, all trussed up and nowhere to go. And it's back to the drawing board. So as he's winched up, the pilot tells us that he's running dangerously low on fuel and the nearest airport was two hours away. Luckily, in Africa, you can park where you like, so we paid a surprise visit to the petrol station round the corner. By the time the chopper returns, the shadows are falling over the gorge, the light's going fast and the wind's getting up. With minutes to spare, Pete gives the green light and sets off in the chopper. It was make or break. But for Pete, there's a lot more at stake. Is this the one? Success! And after four heart-stopping seconds, he finally opens his shoot. That was close. One more second in free fall, and I think that might have been it. So let's have a look at that again on the replay. You can really see how far he falls and just how violently Pete's body jerks when his chute bursts open. A new record. There goes one happy man. Pete, mm. you are the man. Why did you free fall so long? Because it felt so good. <laughs> <laughs> it was sweet. It was sweet it sounds was mild. It is it awesome. Perfect. It is spectacular. There is just no word for it. It's unbelievable. So a huge, huge, huge. Spectacular. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. On that high note, back to you, Davina. Why did he leave it so late? Never mind his nerves. What about ours?
Amazing that was, and it was a world first as well. Now that's it for part one, but don't go away because still to come,